Okay, so as you see, this is the class website, uh, classes.smileschen.com slash XL10. So if anything, this is the thing you need to know. Um, when you sign up through UCLA Extension, it automatically enrolls you in Canvas. Uh, I will not be using Canvas very often. Uh, pretty much everything will be done through this class website here. Okay, it's just a, a little bit easier for me to maintain. Um, if I need to post some materials or whatnot, uh, I might do that through Canvas. Sounds like I'm getting some feedback here. <laughs> just... <clears throat> okay, and so it, is this still okay? Uh, so this is the uh, the site you need to check. If uh, if I do use Canvas for something, I will make note of it on this website. Okay, those of you in the back, you can still hear me. Okay, good. Thumbs up. Good. Great. Everybody can read this okay, nice and clear. All right. So you type in uh, classes.smileschen dot com slash xl10 and it will look like this it should okay all right so we are in uh, stats xl10 I, I have to update this to spring uh, intro to statistical reasoning uh, this is the description of the course uh, intermediate algebra again that is the prerequisite I know UCLA extension does not enforce the prerequisite and I know some of you are trying to take this class and avoid the ladder of math classes that would be normally required at your um, at your school. If that is the case, um, just be prepared not to pass. Okay, just be prepared. That that's a possibility. Okay, if you're trying to avoid the uh, the ladder or the series of math classes that you need to take, you might not have the uh, the necessary foundations of math, you might not you might not pass. Okay, this is me, Miles Miles Chen, Doctor Chen actually, and uh, and this is my email address. Okay, so any questions you have, uh, personal issues, whatnot, you can email me here. Uh, you have found the classroom. Okay, we are in Haynes Hall A18, and we meet on Tuesdays from 7 to 10 p.m. Uh, we generally will take a 10-minute um, break about around 8.30 ish, a little bit before, a little after, something around there. Uh, but you can generally expect this class to go to 10 o'clock, okay? So if you have rides and things like that, um, you can expect that. Occasionally we might end early, but that's maybe once or twice, okay? So don't, don't count on that. Um, office hours will be in this classroom from 6.15 to 7, so uh, be maybe about for the 45 minutes prior to class, I'll get here a little bit early and I can uh, answer your questions, uh, homework problems that you have during then. Okay, the extension contact for all administrative thing, that's Sue Kwan, her email address is this and her office phone number is this. So if you need to, if you want to inquire about the, um, you know, graduation ceremony, missing final exam, any other administrative things like that, adding the class or you know, whatever that might be, that's the person you need to contact, okay? Um, if any of you has a disability, whether, whatever it might be, physical disability, learning disability, um, the people you need to contact is uh, the Disabled Student Services Center, the email address is right here, and the phone number is right here, okay? Um, what they, if you contact them, Generally, what's going to happen is they'll decide if you receive special accommodations. And if you do, uh, gen uh, most, most likely scenario is you contact them, uh, you give them paperwork of your disability, and they'll say, okay, you are allowed to have extra time on your exams. And then you will schedule your exams with uh, with their office uh, during normal business hours so that might mean you have to come to campus early uh, you would take the exam with them and uh, and then you would join class uh, with the rest of the rest of the class okay all right these are the exam dates midterm exam and final exam are on May 5th and June 16th so make sure 
you can um, attend. Block those dates off in your calendar. Make sure you've got nothing else going on. Uh, I think generally the only reason why they would allow you uh, to miss one of these major exams would be if you have a documented emergency such as your car breaks down or it gets towed and you, ha you have a, uh, you know, a receipt or documentation to show that that happened or you get sick and you get a doctor's note. Okay? If you just say, I felt sick and you don't have a doctor's note, they're not going to believe you. Okay? Um, and, and again, you would contact Sue Kwan, the extension contact, with your reason for missing the, the exam, and they will decide whether or not you are entitled to a makeup exam. Um, you can let me know, but I don't have the decision making power. Okay. All right, you need the textbook. Okay. They just updated the textbook to a second edition, and the second edition looks like this. I see the first edition. Do you mind if I uh, grab your first edition? The first edition uh, looks like this, and the second edition, which was just released, looks like this. Okay? Um, either edition is fine. The biggest changes is with the homework problems. Okay? And so I'm going to have to. Uh, kind of rewrite the homework assignments and pick out new problems and uh, I'll try to just make sure users of the first edition and users of the second edition have uh, comparable homeworks and the same adequate preparation for quizzes and things like that. Thank you. Okay. So this is the second edition. Everybody needs the textbook. Okay. Um, if you don't have the textbook, make sure you get the textbook this week. Um, I suppose because it's an urgent issue for the homework, uh, what I can do is I can um, just post the homework pages onto Canvas where it's a uh, copyright protected type of thing. Okay, so I can just post just the homework pages and not the content of the uh, of the textbook, and I can do that just for this week only. Okay, if I do that, if I do it every week or something, I'll, I'll get in big trouble from the. Uh, textbook guys, okay? So make sure you um, purchase the textbook this week, okay? I have links to Amazon to, uh, to both editions, so uh, if, if you want to buy the second edition, you can get it at Amazon. It's really expensive, okay? Uh, and there's no used copies of the second edition, just because it just came out, okay? 200 bucks, I know, it, it's a little bit crazy, okay? The first edition you might be able to find uh, a lot cheaper. Uh, you can get it new for the discounted, much lower rate, rate of 176, but you can also rent it, and you can also buy it used at a probably more reasonable rate. They are, there's also loose leaf editions, okay? And the loose leaf editions come printed on like binder paper, and you stick it in a three ring notebook, and, uh, and it's considerably cheaper. The only, um, I would say the biggest drawback with the loose leaf edition is that the resale value is total junk, okay? So when you try to resell a used textbook and you say, well, my textbook comes on binder paper, um, you're not gonna get as much money for it. But then again, you paid less money for it. So uh, that's up to you, okay? You need to get a textbook. You can get it wherever you want. You can search Craigslist or eBay or whatever. I have links to Amazon if you want to buy a textbook. You uh, buy it through Amazon with one of these links. I get like a, a $2 kickback. <laughs> but, uh, but whatever, you, you buy the textbook. The important thing is you need the textbook. If you got to share with a friend, share with a friend, but you're going to need the textbook to do your homework and study, okay? So th those are there. Also, you need a calculator. This is very, very, very important. And um, and if you're going to spend you know 200 bucks on the textbook and 700 dollars on the course, don't skimp out and buy uh, hurt yourself by not getting spending what 20 bucks on a calculator. You need a scientific calculator. You know what? Let me, I think I've got flux turned on. Let me turn this off. Sorry. Uh, helps. Okay, that's that's much better. Okay, uh, you need a calculator, a scientific calculator, or better. Uh, if you've got a graphing calculator, that's more than adequate. If you already have a scientific calculator, 
that's fine. I do not allow you to use your cell phones as calculators. Um, and if you're just going to try to use a four function calculator, I mean, you might survive, but it's, you're, just, you're really just shooting yourself in the foot, OK? With all this other money that you're spending on the class, just do yourself a favor. Spend another 15 or 20 bucks. Get one of these calculators, OK? Again, I have links to the calculators that I like. You are not required to get these calculators, but these are the ones I like. And they are the ones I will be using in class. When uh, I, I do work on the calculator, you'll see it on the screen as such. So you can follow along yourself. Um, you know, 19 bucks, 16 bucks, 16.50, some things in that range, OK? Get, get yourself a calculator, please. Uh, it's open. There you go. Okay. So, are, are there any questions about calculators, textbooks, things you need for this class? Yes, question. I'm sorry? The e textbook is fine, okay? Um, there's, they also sell another version that's even more expensive. You think this is crazy expensive. They sell like a version that comes with a key code and CDs and whatnot. You don't need that, OK? You just need the textbook. If you have an e-text version that goes on your Kindle or iPad, whatever, that's fine. You just you need to be able to read the book. That's fine, OK? You don't need the extra fancy stuff. Uh, you don't need the one that comes sealed in plastic. Um, and that's that. Okay. Any other questions? OK. Uh, the exams, we've got a midterm exam and a final exam. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about those as they approach. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different than what I've done in the past. And we're going to have a quiz every week at the beginning of class. OK. Um, Oh, I know that sucks a little bit, and uh, and there's no makeup quizzes. So, my um, my way to kind of just allow for life to happen is that your two lowest quizzes will be dropped. Okay, so you know something happens. You know your friend you know has a bad breakup, and you want to be there to comfort her. You know, just it's fine. You've got to miss class. You got to miss class. Okay, um, there's going to be eight quizzes. Uh, and I'm going to drop the two lowest, OK? There's no makeups. So something happens. You miss class. There's no makeup. So, but the two lowest quizzes will be dropped, OK? So, and I, I think that's fair, OK? That, that allows for you know, things to happen in your life to a, to a reasonable degree uh, where you are allowed to, uh, to miss quizzes, OK? So if you miss a quiz, you know, it's going to go down as a 0 in the grade book. But it will get dropped at the end of the quarter because two quizzes will be dropped. Now, if you miss three quizzes, then, then you're in trouble, OK? Uh, if you miss the midterm or the final, that's, that's also a, a bad situation. But uh, quizzes, there's going to be one every week, so there's going to be one next week. Um, but that also gives you an idea of how you're doing immediately, uh, whereas before, you wouldn't know until uh, after the third week. So uh, quizzes every week, we're going to drop the lowest two. Um, the uh, grading policy is going to be as such, 5% uh, homework, 5% attendance, and 30% quizzes, 30% midterm, 30% final exam. Okay, So that adds up to 100%. Um, it's going to be possible to earn over 100% on every single quiz, every, uh, both the midterm and the final exams. You can get over 100%. And every quarter, uh, I always have a handful of students finishing with over 100%. So with that said, that is your extra credit. I don't have separate extra credit assignments. Um, if you want extra credit, do well on the quizzes and the exams. Uh, that's, that's how you do it. Maybe I'll magnify the text here. I don't know if that's better for those of you in the back. OK. Questions. This is a standard grading scale. Uh, I don't really curve. Um, and uh, and so this is this is the policy that we've got. Yes. Do you do partial credit? I mean, like partial credit on all. Of them? Uh, so the the quizzes I'm moving to an all multiple choice way, so there will be no partial credit for these questions. Okay, 
That said, I'm, I will do my best to prepare you for each quiz. I'll try to be as fair. I'll try to show you what kind of problems you can expect on the quiz and how to, uh, how to, how to answer them. Yes? How many questions are the quizzes? They're written for half an hour. Um, I haven't figured it out completely, probably in the vicinity of 15 questions. Okay? Something around there. Uh, it's going to depend on week to week. Okay, some qu some weeks there you know, might be more, some quizzes there might be fewer questions. All right, uh, regarding transcripts and all of that, that, that information is here. Here's our topics that we're going to do. Quizzes one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there's eight quizzes. There's no quiz after the week after the midterm. Okay, um, and uh, and that's how it goes. All right, questions? Yes. No, I will, uh, I will provide everything you need regarding the quiz papers, okay? Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use, I use this, um, actually, I, I, I'm using this new system called GradeCam. Uh, basically, the Scantron is going to be printed on this paper itself. The, uh, the other side will have the questions and things like that. You're going to bubble in your answers. Um, I'm going to have a camera here, and you stick your quiz underneath the camera and it's going to grade it um, and let you know how you did. Now, uh, because it takes a little while, uh, I'm going to just do that at the end of class. So if you are dying to know how you did it on the quiz, you can stick around till the end of class and I'll grade it and you'll see. Okay? Uh, and so that's, that's how that's going to work. Yes? Do you post the scores on Canvas or uh, I will not post them on Canvas, but I will, um, I will send email updates with your grades, okay? So after the midterm exam will come your first email uh, grade update so you have an idea how you're doing. I mean, uh, each week when you get, uh, you'll get your quizzes and uh, so that, that should give you an idea of how you're doing, right? If, if you're doing poorly on the quizzes, that means you're doing poorly in the class. And if you're doing well on the quizzes, you're doing well in the class. So. Um, so that will be how the, uh, the quizzes work. Uh, and, and I'll send you an update um, after the uh, midterm uh, and right before the, uh, the final exam as well. Okay. Uh, regarding the homework. Okay. So I'm, I'm risking something and I'm not going to collect homework <coughs> this quarter. Okay. So in the past, I assigned homework and I collected it. Um, and then I tried something where I assigned homework and I didn't collect it, but I set, had students promise me that they did their homework. They turned in papers that said, I promise I did the homework. This quarter, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to assume you are doing your homework. And, uh, and hope that you are, OK? So that 5% in your grade that says homework, that's going to be an automatic 5%. Okay, Everyone's going to get 5% for their homework. Because I'm trusting you to do the homework. Now, the, uh, the proof, uh, as they say, the proof is in the pudding in that if you don't do the homework, you cannot expect to do well on the quizzes or the exams. And so I have quizzes every week, and I'll show you uh, basically the topics that you need to know. And I'll, uh, I haven't posted one yet, but I'll put a preview quiz, or at least sample questions that you can expect. And so you can see how you do on those questions and make sure you understand the, uh, the material covered in the homework, OK? Where will you be putting these things? I'm sorry? Oh, where will you be putting these things? Yeah, I'll, I'll put a link on this page, OK? All right, or uh, maybe at the bottom of the page, there's a place where I can put, um, put not comments, but, but files, OK? Can we give you the homework for like, corrections and uh, No, uh, don't, don't give me the homework uh, for me to grade, OK? That said, I, I'm, I'm trying to do as much as I can uh, 
to help you guys succeed. Okay, I, I work hard in preparing a lot of materials for this class, so uh, please please make use of it. Okay, so this week I say uh, read uh, you know read chapter one and read chapter two these sections and do these problems. Okay, and if I were you, I would keep a notebook for statistics and uh, and keep your problems in an easily accessible place where you can then go back and review review these things because the point of the homework is uh, is so you learn okay I don't get pleasure out of you doing doing problems okay but I do like when my students learn and I do think the homework is a great opportunity to learn okay there was a question back there Okay, there, I read your mind. And uh, is, is that better? Yeah. More zoomed in better? A little bit better, okay. You can also experience manual zooming by just walking a few <laughs> few steps forward and sitting in a closer row. Yes? Question about the final, is it cumulative? Or? The, the final is cumulative, but we'll have a heavy focus on the stuff after the midterm, okay? so. Yes, and those of you in the back, I do recommend sitting a little bit closer to the front. Uh, there seems to be a correlation between grades and <laughs> seating position. Um, but anyway, uh, okay. So let's uh, let's just go over uh, this week's homework. Um, I might have to make a couple updates to the problems from the second edition. But basically, these are the uh, the problems that I've assigned. And, uh, and these are kind of the corresponding problems in the second edition, and I've got to go through and, uh, and update those, just so users of either the first or second edition will have an adequate homework assignment. Okay. Also, um, this is optional, but if you want emails from me about your grade, um, I ask that you click this link, just fill out this form that just says, what's your name and what's your email address, okay? And tell me that you're in my Excel 10 class. Um, do that, and, uh, and that way you can get emails from your grade. Your first email will not come until after the midterm exam, okay? And, uh, and read the syllabus that I've got posted, which is all of that information there, okay? Uh, I have a suggested schedule. This, again, is suggested in that um, it, it is uh, better for you to do a little bit of statistics several times throughout the week than try to wait till next Monday or Tuesday and try to do all of your statistics homework or problems, okay? And again, don't blow off this class, okay? If you, the work you put in is the stuff you're gonna get out. So if you don't do the work, uh, you can't expect to succeed. All right, and uh, I might update this a little bit between, uh, I would say now and Thursday. I would say after Thursday, you can expect this list to be finalized. And this, these are going to be the topics that you need to know for next week's quiz. Okay, and I'll, I'll try to go over some of these in class today. Or obviously I will because I'm, I'm teaching. And, uh, and maybe I'll just do a few example problems so you can kind of expect what, what to see. All right, so the homework problems, I, I'm not gathering them and I'm not grading them or correcting them. But... I have recorded um, solutions to each of the homework problems that I've assigned, okay? So, for example, uh, you know, one of these homework problems that, you know, it asks something, you click the link, it takes you to, uh, to YouTube. And, okay, it says uh, this bar chart, the bar chart shows market uh, share for search engines. Uh, and answer the question there, okay? And so... Um, and I've got to uh, record some new ones for the second edition and things like that. Um, so, so anyway, I put these solutions to help you, okay? And again, I'm not gathering the homework, I'm not grading them, I'm not even checking to see if you do it, but it is in your best interest to do the homework. It's in your best interest to struggle and figure out the answers yourself. If you get stuck, Yes, you can go to these videos and jump to the answer. But that's not going to help, okay? Um, you know, if you've ever played, like, uh, Zelda on, as a video game or something, 
there is a great joy in figuring out you know each of these dungeons yourself okay um, but you could you know if you got stuck you could go to the uh, the player's guide and, and they'll tell you all the answers in the same way with with these math problems struggle through it and you might not have the same joy um, that, that you would experience in in other situations but I assure you that your brain will appreciate it and you will learn better that way okay some of you um, might hire a tutor, okay? My number one advice for working with a tutor, okay, is don't have the tutor do your homework. Okay, don't have the tutor do your homework. You will not learn that way, okay? Everything will make sense when the tutor does your homework, you'll say, oh yeah, I get it, I understand, oh, this makes sense, okay? No, it's because your tutor's doing the homework for you, okay? It's, it, you're, you're not going to learn this way, okay? If you, have a, if you hire a tutor, okay, do the homework yourself, okay? Allow yourself to get stuck. Allow yourself to try to solve problems. And then meet with the tutor, have the tutor answer your questions for where you got stuck, and have the tutor make up new problems for you to solve. That's the best way to make use of a tutor, okay? Do the homework yourself and have the tutor make up new problems for you to solve. That's, that's if you go through the trouble of getting a tutor. Yes, question? Yeah, are there good uh, resources like to see like grad students here or something? Free tutoring or something? Free tutoring, that's... Um, cheap tutor, cheap tutoring. Yeah, you know, I don't... I, I used to have um, tutors that I recommended, but they've all moved on in their life and they're no longer tutoring, so I don't have people that I recommend anymore, okay? Um, so you might have to search around a little bit, okay? Um, you can always uh, try working through some of the other problems in the textbook, and, uh, and some of the answers to those are given in the back. Um, I would say, you know, I think the problems that I assign, if you work through those on your own, it should give you uh, an a adequate preparation, okay? Uh, also along with the practice quiz questions that I put up. That should be adequate preparation. Again, the idea being, can you do them yourself without, you know, outside help, okay? Okay, are there any uh, other questions? So these, uh, so the homework problems, do these, keep them in your notebook. That way you can review them later, uh, go through uh, what you did, and check your answers with uh, the videos that I've posted online. Those are there to help you. Yes, question? Can you record your lectures? I'm sorry? Can you record your lectures? Uh, I am recording them, okay, right now. Uh, well, I'm at least recording the screen and my voice, and I will uh, post these videos. Again, these videos will also be posted online. There is a section right here that says lecture videos. This was uh, last quarter's, um, but you can see kind of what they look like. Um, they're just uh, recordings. All of right, the so like this with uh, you make a mistake like uh, that, we yeah, call we those errors through, through stuff like that. Okay, so um, if you miss class, you can watch uh, the lectures and still be caught up. Okay, that that said, uh, you might lose uh, some points on attendance. Okay, and. Uh, Okay, so let me, um, let me pass out these, uh, quote, ID numbers, and, uh, and every now and then I'll take attendance uh, using these forms here, okay? And so, uh, so the way this works is uh, each student, at least those who are on my roster, uh, I have uh, an ID number here, and, uh, and bring these forms with you to class, okay? And if, um, maybe I'll, I'll have a few blank extra ones in case you, you forget yours. But, but bring these with you to class, and, uh, and every now and then I'll take attendance 
by collecting these papers, okay, and then running them through the camera that says, okay, you were here, and then the following week I'll pass them back, okay, and that way um, we can you can turn them back in uh, in the future, okay. All right, so I'm going to pause the recording and then I'm going to uh, call your name and pass these out.